Children, I need your help to make the teams for this year's tournaments. How many teams do we need to make? There are 24 students all together. I think four groups with boys and girls will be fine. Each group must have the same number of people. Well, each group should have five or six children. Please, Matt, explain how you've estimated each group. I did four circles. Each one is a group. Then I drew 24 faces. Each face is a student. What did you do after that? I put one face at a time inside each circle, till I had all the faces inside the group. I put the same number of faces in each group, as our teacher said. Then, I counted the faces inside each circle and ready! Each group will have six students. Very good, congratulations! You've just solved a division problem. You've divided 24 children in four groups, each group with six children. Can't we do another one? I must share out 12 sweets with three friends. How many sweets will I give to each one? 12 sweets for three friends. First I draw 12 lines, and then I cross out every three sweets. So, we'll give four sweets each. Perfect! Now you can solve division problems. Congratulations! How many stickers have you got? 25. Okay, you must share out those 25 stickers with 5 friends. How can you estimate how many you will give each? I could make 5 piles, as we did at school. Okay, start to distribute. I'll put one sticker in each pile. You are doing it very well, Lucy. Ready! I've already put one in each pile. Now, I'll put another till I finish all. Good, Lucy. Do you know now how many stickers will each of them get? Yes, I must give five to each one. Good. You've just shared out and divided 25 stickers into five girls, and each one has got five stickers. Oh, so sharing and dividing are the same thing. Yes, very good, Lucy. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!